In just a few days, it's back to school for Fayette County students. So many are going back to some changes. Georgia MacArthur got a look at the biggest change, a whole new building for one high school. Yes, Marvin, I got an early look inside the new Tates Creek High School along with some of the students and parents. The seniors I talked to today said it was a long time coming, but it was definitely worth the wait. And we're the first day. New pictures are not the only thing students will be creating in this art class. It, it's kind of just like, oh, like you're really into like this big high school and like uh, for the freshmen, it will definitely feel like kind of like a movie. Seniors at Tate's Creek High on the first day of school will be creating new memories. I'm taking multiple engineering classes this year and I'm just really excited. <laughs> really space for each academy. We were all kind of bundled up. Caitlin, a rising senior, says the new building could not have come at a better time. Rooms that we haven't had before too. Uh, like we have two gyms now and the cafeteria is so much bigger. It just feels really nice. <laughs> Students notice the changes right away when they walk through the double doors. The estimated $88 million project is one they say was worth the wait. I feel like the school is definitely bigger. It's more improved. They got AC. Last school was hot. Caitlin, who plays several instruments, says she looks forward to classes inside the auditorium. I play violin. And I'm hoping to learn both cello and guitar this year. Which she says will prepare her for college when she majors in music at EKU. Whereas before it would be close together. And so uh, with orchestra and choir, we can definitely move more. Um, especially with choir so we can get into the music if we're moving. I just did a different shot. Fayette County students will head back to classes on Wednesday, August 10th. Marvin.